and welcome back to my channel. We are heading out to get some groceries because um, I was actually going to do the grocery order tomorrow. I have a unhappy girl this morning. She's ready to go. Come here. And some wild hair that we haven't brushed. Look at that hair. Look at that hair. So we had it up. Took it down this morning. I haven't done anything else to it. Um, we are, we sit here for me. We were, I was going to do my grocery order for tomorrow, but I put it in late last night because we are um, under like a winter storm advisory. I think we're supposed to get, or there's a good chance we're getting like an ice storm tomorrow. Coffee? Is that my coffee? And with ice storms, obviously you can lose power and ice, you may not be able to get out. Um, just in case, I decided we're going to go ahead and grab these groceries today. You want a Nana? Yeah. We're going to grab these groceries today so that way um, we don't have to worry about it tomorrow and we don't have to worry about not having any food. So we needed groceries pretty badly. So there you go. But we're going to go grab that. I am going to share my grocery haul and meal plan for the week. And I'm also going to share a crock pot recipe that we're going to put on as soon as we get, or sometime when we get home a little bit later. Um, that I've never made, but um, I found it on Pinterest. It looks super easy, like a dump and go crock pot recipe. I feel like I've seen somebody made this, make something similar before. I, maybe not, maybe I've just seen it on Pinterest, but that's what we're gonna do. Let's go get our groceries, and I'll show y'all my grocery shop meal plan and share a easy crock pot recipe that I hope is good. everything laid out a table full of stuff um and then i've got my meal plan written out here very easy meal plan this week a couple crock pot recipes pizza super easy which has been lately i've just been doing super easy things and nothing too complicated and takes forever to plan and prep and cook so let me show y'all um <clears throat> if you didn't see as i was writing let me show y'all the meal plan and we're gonna go to these groceries and then do our uh crock pot recipe okay so on the menu we have the uh, crock pot italian chicken which we're going to do in the crock pot today we're going to do pizza I, I always put pizza on here because i always make a point to have pizza in my deep freezer and so we don't always do pizza and sometimes we might even have pizza in our deep freezer but we still grab pizza out but i always put it on here just because it is a simple little thing we could do for dinner we're going to do spaghetti. We're going to do teriyaki chicken with rice, which I'm excited to make. And then we're going to do grilled cheese and tomato soup. Super easy, and I thought it'd be good for the cold weather. Coming over to our groceries. Let's start on this side today. I've got, always get drinks for Ethan that he likes. Also got Ethan and I some toothpaste. Got a two-pack. We always, ever since we got like a bigger bathroom and have our own like space and cabinets and sink, he'll have... We always get a two-pack, and he has his own toothpaste. I have my own. So, I don't know if I've ever got this one, but um, 3D White. And then I got some mouthwash as well. And then I had to get some the kids some more toothpaste because um, they have lost the top to theirs. So, I went ahead and picked them up another thing of toothpaste. I think that's all the non-grocery things, and they didn't have my dry shampoo. Um, I did order that, but they didn't have that, so I didn't get that. All right, grab some milk for cereal and things. My meats, I got um, some, this is chicken breast tenderloins. I think I'm gonna use the tenderloins for my teriyaki chicken. And then I got chicken breasts that I think I'm gonna use today for what I'm making. Also got some bacon. That's another idea we could do for either supper. We can do pancakes, bacon, eggs, easy um, breakfast for dinner idea or we might do that saturday morning if ethan's off also got some ground beef for our spaghetti and i got some turkey some oven roasted turkey breast cereals went ahead and got some cereals to fill up our cereal containers got lucky charms cap and crunch berries the girls love these um which i love lucky charms too and uh the girls also love those but ethan really likes the cap and crunch berries um 
went ahead and got one more pizza to we already have one in the deep freezer so i got one more for a dinner I have two for our family cheese got some string cheese for a snack uh these are ethan's favorite rolls so i got these i might actually fix these with dinner tonight um i went ahead and got them to keep in our freezer and i'll have them one day um i got a pineapple i got a couple things of eggs and i got some tater tots okay for our teriyaki chicken i got some vegetables to go in there i'm gonna do um I got, I don't know the best teriyaki sauce. I've never really tried to make a good teriyaki chicken, but I got this P.F. Chang's one. And then um, I'm going to throw everything in the crock pot except the rice. So we got, I'm going to do chicken. I'm going to put some teriyaki sauce in there. Um, we're going to do some sliced mushrooms in there and some broccoli in there. And then we're going to cook that up and serve that over some rice, I think, and see how we like it. Also got some lettuce and my last produce i got a big thing of strawberries two of these puff corns these are so good the girls love these and i love to snack on these the walmart brand they're delicious these are my favorite water flavors that i drink every day to try to get more water in also got a couple things of applesauce the unsweetened and then the strawberry thing of butter that we just ran out of got more cinnamon rolls to keep in the refrigerator two things of uncrustables we'll keep one in the freezer and one in the deep freezer in our garage got a couple of these um late night dessert snack a couple things of juice uh, juice packs for the girls and then got some flour tortillas i'm gonna um use these for i could do quesadillas for the girls but also I got these for wraps for me. I'm going to go to my local grocery store later today and hopefully find some blackened chicken tenders, which I used to eat all the time, and I haven't bought those in quite a while, so I'm hoping to find those because um, Walmart doesn't care, or our Walmart, our Walmart doesn't carry those. Wheat bread. I got bread to go with um, for our either sandwiches for the week, but also grilled cheese and tomato soup. I got some yogurt, and then Millie's yogurt. This Italian dressing seasoning mix. A couple things of tomato soup for easy grilled cheese and tomato soup. And this is for tonight's recipe. And I got some pasta sauce for our spaghetti this week. This is also going to be for tonight. I got bow tie noodles, which I never buy those, but I figured we'll try those for our recipe tonight. Uh, pop tarts, blueberry pop tarts. The girl's favorite mandarin oranges got a bigger pack of those to put in the refrigerator um cinnamon french toast sticks ego waffles we ran out of breakfast stuff very quickly and some toaster strudels so that's our grocery haul for this week i'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff put up and go ahead and get our recipe on to let it start cooking all day all right, got everything put away. I actually shared me cleaning out my refrigerator really well in a video that you'll probably see after this video. Um, but got some kind of kind of organized, um, you know, organized without all the like fancy, not fancy, but cute bins that you see in all these Pinterest um, refrigerators. Like you go on Pinterest and see like a bin with uh, yogurts and a bin with cheese and a bin with your eggs and all that. I don't have that just yet, but um, got everything semi-organized in here. I'm out of breath, as you can tell. I'm looking better. Um, in my pantry, my pantry that's gotten unorganized again, but at least it's full. That's our toothpaste and all my trash stuff that's got to be put up. Okay. Super easy recipe, you've never tried it, but um, I was looking for easy slow cooker recipes on Pinterest and this popped up. It was like on a website that had like 15 dump and go crock pot like recipes. That. So that's my inspiration like for that. this. Like that. What is that? I'm gonna cook our supper for tonight. Like that. Are we gonna cook chicken? What chicken tonight? Wednesdays are like the perfect day for me to do a crock pot recipe because um, Wednesday nights are busy for us and we're at church Wednesday night so I need something easy to cook before we go um, so this is super easy like throw it in there there's a couple things I'll have to do um, 
for it a little bit later to cook, um, but it just seems really easy. What you're gonna need is some chicken breast. Um, I've got three chicken breasts in here. How many? It's okay. 1.73 pounds. I don't know. It says two. The recipe called for two or three chicken breasts. So I've got three here. So we're gonna do all three of these, and I'm gonna stick these in the bottom of my crock pot. and put it on low yes <laughs> whenever I cooked my roast a couple weeks ago funny story because you know roast is something that needs to cook all day um I put it in here and by like three o'clock I realized I had the crock pot on warm and totally forgot about it so we ended up not eating roast that night we ended up I ended up cooking it the rest of the way and we ended up eating it the next day so today I made sure I got it right all right then I have a block of cream cheese. I've had this in my refrigerator, so it was perfect and needs to be used. Just a block of cream cheese that, um, I think I'm gonna cube this um, and throw it in here. So I'm cute, I just cubed it into like eight squares. Okay, you wanna sit up here with me? Okay, sit right here. Okay, and then I have a can of cream of chicken soup Great value kind. I'm gonna uh, put this all over top of it. And then lastly, I've got one more thing. Oh, a pack of Italian dressing mix. This is a good seasoning brand. It's Italian mix. <laughs> Millie's curious about my recipe. Okay, so I'm just gonna sprinkle this all over top. And hopefully this is good. I would put salt and pepper, but I think this is plenty of seasonings in there. And that's it. Four ingredients, chicken, soup, cream cheese, and your Italian dressing mix. I'm gonna put this over, it's on low. I'm gonna cook this for about six hours or so. And it should be to six or seven hours. And then um, I'll show y'all what we're gonna do with it after it's done. Okay, about six hours later chicken's done and falling apart so I'm gonna go ahead and take the chicken out and shred it to before I like stir everything um yeah it's falling apart a lot <laughs> so I've got a bowl right here that I'm gonna put all this chicken in shred it up so I know everybody's heard of the uh, tip to use a mixer to do your chicken but I don't actually use the whole mixer I just use like the end of it and it does so good especially like when you cook your chicken in a crock pot all day on low and it's like super like falling apart and this is how I shred it I just use that or two forks but this really works the best and I don't have to get like the whole mixer out and this works so well with shredding some chicken all right chickens shredded I'm gonna pour all of that back into my crock pot. And then it should mix to be pretty creamy. So I'm gonna mix all this together and I'm gonna let this stay on warm for about another hour till we eat and let the cream cheese like kinda continue to melt. It's pretty much melted but Give it another little bit to kind of incorporate in here, but it looks super creamy. It looks delicious. So I'm super excited to try it over our bow tie noodles. All right, so I did add a little salt and pepper into it. A little bit of salt and a good bit of pepper. So, all right, we're gonna let this continue to cook. To go with it, I think we're gonna go ahead and cook these rolls we have not had these since probably thanksgiving <laughs> um i ethan loves these in the pan like this the small ones i love the like square looking ones the by sister schubert i like both of them but this are, these are his favorite so i'm gonna cook these to go with it go ahead and get these started because they they take a while to cook
anyway, it looks delicious. I'm getting ready to try it and see what we think. All right, let me grab a fork. We're gonna try this. Let's see, it looks really good. So we're gonna see how it is. Get a little bit of pasta and a little bit of meat. It's good. It's really good. I give it a thumbs up for sure. Let's do one more bite. It's delicious. Definitely give this a try. Super easy. There's tons of like Pinterest recipes with like other stuff you can add to it, but this was super easy, which is what I like. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're gonna go finish eating so we can get on with the rest of our evening. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys soon for another video.